Hello everyone, peace be with you and thank you so much for joining me here at the Galaxy with God of Notes, of course. Not everything in this reading will resonate with you. Please use your discernment. Take what does and leave the rest. However, if this reading happens to resonate with you, please let me know by commenting down below or liking this message. I want to thank you so much, my new and my returning subscribers, for your energies here. Thank you so much again for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions. I'm going to be doing a reading for the sign of Leo. Leo, what's the message for the sign of Leo? What does Leo need to know? I have the world. So something, ah, I have the world at the back of the deck, I have the devil. At the back of the deck, then I have the six of cups. All right, so something could have come to a complete ending because someone has seen the bigger picture of things. Someone is now feeling a sense of belonging. Someone could even be traveling the world, feeling um, fulfilled after something has closed out. This person could have closed out a negative cycle with the devil at the back of the deck. They could have closed out a negative cycle that they had to endure and move on in harmony, seeing the bigger picture of this and feel more accomplished, maybe giving themselves self-love, feeling, be, fe feeling, uh, how do I say it? Feeling, having a sense of belonging, feeling loved, feeling as if they're worth living then <laughs> that's what i'm getting i'm sorry <laughs> all right um anything else i have the page of cups in the reverse yes so you've moved on seen a bigger picture even though leo you were doubting yourself at one point you were doubting yourself and um feeling somehow insecure regarding a particular situation but you have seen a bigger picture now, Leo, and you're moving, feeling fulfilled with whatever decision you make or made. I have, hmm, I have the King of Cups in the reverse. I'm not sure why it's coming up in the reverse, but someone was very emotionally manipulative and abusive, very cold. King of Cups coming up in this mood. Oh man, this person was very selfish. So you could you could have been dealing with a king of cups in the reverse, um, Leo. You can always switch the role, male or female, masculine or feminine. Um, you could be dealing with a king of cups in the reverse who was very manipulative towards you or even your energy. This person, um, was very selfish. Very selfish um, character. However, I have the wheel of fortune at the back of the deck. So your luck, I mean, moving forward from this person, I'm feeling as if your luck is now better. You're doing much better not having this person in your energy than when you had them in your energy. Anything else, bro? Anything else? Yeah. I have the two of wands. Yes, yeah, so you have made a choice. You have cho chosen a path going forward. You are still wondering if, Leo, you are still wondering if you should be going or you should be coming. You're still wondering if, should I go, should I come? But you're preparing to leave. You're preparing to leave. Well, with the word card here, it took you a while. To really left us this situation with this queen of cups king of cups in the reverse this person was you know you doubted your intuition for a while it took you a while to let go but finally with the world card is telling me that you're finally let go emotionally mentally and otherwise if you're not let if you're not let go as yet you will soon be letting go it might take you a while to do so anything else yes for a sign of Leo, anything for Leo, anything for Leo, oh Lord, anything for Leo, I have the six of cups in the reverse, so Leo, 
you could be somehow stuck in your past. This person could be someone from your past with the six of cups in the reverse. Maybe feeling as if you don't have the ability to let go of this person. Even though you want to let go, you're still holding on to them. This person could be someone from your past. Possibly you're clinging on to their energy or it could be their energy clinging on to you. Hmm. I'm not sure what's happening here. What's happening with Leo with the Six of Cups in the reverse? I have the Tower. There was a sudden change. There was a sudden change, and as a result, it could have hit you so hard. With it, with, with the um Tower being here, hmm, it was a disaster. Something, an old foundation, this old relationship. That the, the six of cups relationship that you had with this king of cups in the reverse it was a trauma it was traumatizing to you where there was a complete destruction of the own situation however this person wants to come in with communication it's at the back of the deck this person want to speak to you this person is a knight of pentacles very slow they want to come forward but they're coming very slow as slow as possible molasses this person could want to come in now even though they were the king of cups in the reverse they're coming up now as a knight of pentacles they want to give you some form of commitment however i have at the back of the deck this person is in very low vibration still i have the devil very toxic this person possibly want to attach themselves to you to the point where you feel as if you're not able to move on from this person because of the history of the relationship you feel as if you are now compelled to stay but the, the tower is here and it's telling me that if you don't if you don't let go as yet you're gonna let go because when the tower hits everything that's inside of it will be exposed and if you look at the tower it's like lightning flashing burning up stuff so Everything has to be different. I have the King of Swords. So there was some clarity shed on this situation. You could be dealing with an air sign or, you know, Leo, you could be dealing with an air sign. Gemini, Libra, or, Libra, or an Aquarius. This person is very intellectual, very brilliant, with head over heart. This person coming up as the King of Cups in the reverse, Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, and now the King of Swords in the reverse. So this person, um, very intuitive, not, not intuitive, but very intellectual, maybe a very smooth talker. Yeah. But well, this person is really, I have at the back of the deck, I have a page of wands. So this person is very possibly young in spirit. It might not be young in age, but in their spirit, they're very young. It'd be a possibly childish. Yeah. Yeah, I have the Knight of Wands. Very childish. And this person is very free-spirited, hot-tempered, you know, well-driven to do whatever they're doing. So you could be dealing with this person embodying this King of Cups in the reverse, Knight of Wands, King of Swords. This person could be embodying all these energies at, at different times, right? So you could be dealing with a person who you don't even know who this person is because they have so many different energies who you can't even fathom. I have um, the Ace of Swords. So some truth was shed on this person's energy, this person's character, this person's moral. You have come, Leo, to realize who this person really was with the Ace of Swords being here. You had mental clarity. You had, you had, you, you, you're, you're not focused on this person as to who they are. You, you had a breakthrough in your intuition or something, but you learned the truth about this person. At the back of the deck, I have a nine of cups. So this was, this person was supposed to be your wish fulfillment. Are they looking at you as wish fulfillment where they have success with you? But I, also I have the four of swords. So somebody is sitting back re rejuvenating recuperating from some loss with the world card you feel as if you have let go of something that was good that you really wanted to hold on to leo however this person was in very low vibration 
Uh, anything to close the reading? Anything? I have the Page of Swords. Yeah. As I said, um, this person is really could be intellectual. It could be you, Leo. But this person wants to know more about you. They're inspired somehow by you. They could have. They could want to send you a message, and they could have um, be talking about you. With the page, these with, that has to do with communication. They could be talking about you. Air sign is dominant here. I have the, the um, empress. They could be talking about an empress. They're looking at you as being very abundant. Very it could be the, the, the divine feminine or the divine masculine. Looking at you as very caring, very nurturing. I have the hermit at the back of the deck and it's telling me someone went into hermit mode and that's where they have seen this clarity. Clarity was shed when you went in by yourself to search for the truth. So clarity was shed in a situation. You're coming out as the empress, very nurturing. You're like mother earth. Yeah, you could be, somebody could want to collaborate with you. As I said, this person wants to come in with communication collaborate with you but they still are looking at you as an option empress they are looking at as they are looking at an empress as an option <laughs> anything with this two of pentacles and three of pentacles anything with this oh i have the six of pentacles in the reverse so they are looking at an empress as an option they're weighing their option with an empress and something else. However, this relationship is one-sided because how can a person be looking at an empress? She embodies all four queens in the deck and they're looking at her as not wanting to give equal give and take to an empress. At the back of the deck, um, sorry, this also came out, the Ace of Cups. This empress could be walking into a new love. Or this could be you, Leo. But your look, Leo is looking at you, Empress, as option. When this Empress, all she deserves is something new, some, some deep emotion, a spiritual awakening, deep feelings. But this person is looking at you as an, as an option. Yeah. I have a page of wands. Yeah. Very free spirited, very fearless. This person could be an extrovert, you know, so they maybe look at this empress as an introvert and feel as if they can just use her for her energy and her abundance. See, I have the devil peeking up here. This person is in very low vibration, looking at an empress as an option. All right, I'm going to get one card from here for guidance. Anything we need to do going forward for this empress spirit? Any, any guidance for this empress? obstacles and i have universe it says the universe is guiding you to that special person allow everything to take its natural course obstacles look for ways around the obstacles to find happiness so this person leo that you have in your energy who was very abusive they could have placed some obstacles in your way However, seeing you as an option, they are putting an empress as an option, wanting to juggle an empress, not wanting even to give, they want to breadcrumb this person then. They don't want to share equal, equal give and take with the six of pentacles in the reverse. This person wants to share, but this, this empress deserves new love and she's walking into new love. This person could be very advent, adventurous. And this is how they maybe move around their normal life. But with the universe here, it's guiding you to that special person, Empress. Allow yourself, allow everything to take its natural course. So as I as it seemed to me, everything is in divine timing. This person is using you as an as as a using an empress as an option, even though they know you deserve better. They want to use you and even breadcrumb you at the same time. So, Empress Leo, you could be in the Empress energy. Continue moving. Continue moving on. The universe is in control. God is in. God is in. Why am I tongue tied? I can't even speak. God is in control of everything. 
and God will also remove any obstacles placing place in your way. So, Collective, thank you again for joining me here at the Galaxy with God Love Notes. Peace, I leave with you.